Hello and welcome to my Platinum Speedrunning Quest Guide series, where we play through each quest step by step alongside the speedrunning wiki guides to help you achieve your speedrunning goals. Today we are going to be looking at Demon Slayer, which has a platinum runtime of 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Before starting this quest, let's head over to the grouping tab and set Soul Wars as our minigame teleport. Go into the world switcher, filter through the top right twice, and then scroll down to the speedrunning worlds. And then before that, go into settings, change NPC attack options to always right click. And if you haven't already, make sure you also have shift click to drop items enabled. I highly recommend the quest helper plugin for Runelight, but make sure that if you are using that plugin, you reset the quest every single time. Otherwise, like I did, you can get through an entire run and then mess up the incantation even though you input it right, but quest helper is using a previous run's incantation. So, do not do what I did, and instead learn from my mistakes. Alright, let's start this quest by talking to Eris. Once you're in the middle of dialogue, you'll first be prompted with option number one. There we go, option one. Followed by option one again. And finally, option three for the cinematic. Make sure you're using the quest helper plugin for Runelight to make this process so much easier at the end. Once the cinematic has ended, you're going to run immediately north towards the castle and drop all of your tuna along the way. It is now that the speedrun has officially begun. Once at the castle, we're going to talk to Sir Pryson using option 3. Followed by option 1. Option 2. And then option one. After you will space through this dialogue, you're going to run north up the staircase. Climb up both sets of stairs. Talk to Captain Rovin using option three. Option number one. Use option two twice. Option three. And then option one. Once you see the key in your uh, chat box, go back down both sets of stairs and head east towards the kitchen. There we go. Back down two sets of stairs. And run east. Once in the kitchen, head up the staircase and then immediately grab the bucket to your right. You're going to head back down the staircase following that and using the bucket on the sink to get a bucket full of water. Here we go. Bucket. Bucket on sink. Water bucket on the drain. Once it's down the drain, head south back to the palace and head towards the manhole. Drop the bucket and sip one of your energy potions. We're going to be using the west entrance. And then also making sure that we have Soul Wars as our minigame teleport. Hold space while you're picking up the key to skip the dialogue, and then teleport immediately afterwards. There we go, teleport. At the Soul Wars Bank, we're going to be de depositing both of our keys and most of our gold. We only need 600 gold to complete this quest. Alright, use the bank. Deposit keys and gold, and then head through the Edgeville dungeon, where we are going to head down the trapdoor. It is at this time that I also recommend finishing off another energy potion if you can, because we're going to need 25 available spaces. You're going to pick up the bones immediately to your north, starting with the first three. And then head east to the room full of rats, where we'll be world hopping, so make sure you open world switcher and filter towards the speedrunning worlds. It's also at this time that I highly recommend you have right click as your attack option so you do not click on the rats like I almost did. Then after you have all the bones, go ahead and world hop to another world. It is advised that you start at either the top or the bottom of the speedrunning list. So whenever you go up, you only have to worry about going up and don't accidentally hop back to a world which you've already previously come from. It'll take entirely one full rotation and then back to the world that you started on to get enough bones. We're going to only be picking up two from the last one, though. Then 
And now that we finished one full rotation through the world list, we're going to go back to the world we started on, picking up only two sets of bones from here, and then teleporting to Lumbridge. Once in Lumbridge, we will be heading towards Draenor, alternating between running and walking to save on energy as we have a full inventory. This alternation of running and walking should give you enough energy at the end to be able to reset the fight on Thalworth twice if need be, if you do not get lucky enough on the first strike. Let's go ahead and start sipping our energy potion while we're running. Now that we made it about 8 seconds of running, let's go ahead and walk for a little bit. Also take this time to change your attacks back to left click where available for Delrith. Let's run a little bit further. Walk until we get up to the guards area. And then running past the guards. We're going to go to Django, drop one of our bones, because we have 600 gold, and that's the exact mount that we need. We're going to buy one Chronicle and two Teleports. Let's run up to Django, drop the bones behind him, trade one Chronicle, two Teleport cards, Chronicle cards teleported, pick up the bones, and then head back to the bank to pick up your keys from earlier. We got both of our keys, and now let's head towards the Wizard Tower. a little bit here. Once we are at the Wizard Tower, climb up the staircase. We will talk to Wizard Treyborn using options 1, followed by option 3, and then option 2. After this dialogue, right-click Use the Bones on Treybjorn. Use Bones, hold space, and then once you see the dialogue that you have received the key, teleport using the Chronicle. Head north back to Sir Prius at the castle to get your Silver Light. While we're running up towards the castle, it is highly recommended you set your quick prayers for superhuman strength and improved reflexes. This will give you your best odds of hitting him quick enough. Hover over your worn equipment. Talk to Sir Price in, in the castle. Hold space, and then once you see that you have obtained Silverlight, right click, teleport your chronicle. Just hold space through this entire thing. Once you see that it has appeared in your main hand slot, you can use the Teleport Chronicle. Here we go. We're going to enter through the southeast between the two monuments. It's okay if you take damage here, the main thing is that you just want to be quick. You can reset the fight maybe twice and still be able to get it in time. There we go. Hold space. Right-click Delrith to start with, and then near the end of the dialogue, hit Attack. Just like that, now we're going to put in our incantation. If you do need to reset the fight, simply walk south a few tiles, and then walk right back in. And if you followed everything appropriately, and you've used the correct incantation, you should have Platinum. Demon Slayer.